Welcome back to episode 1 of the new solo series, hope you have an amazing day, in today's video we start day 1 on the freshly wiped server where we get into loads of PvP, also claim in my opinion one of the best rat holes on the game and loads of early game raids for some insane loot and much much more. Let's see if we can smash 1000 likes on the video, also 80% of the audience that do watch my videos are not subscribed so make sure you smash that subscribe button, without further ado let's jump into the video. So starting off the wipe, obviously I have to create my character and the map of choice that I was going to start start on was gen 2 just because it's so easy to get started and get loads of resources early game so let's get into it so my luck was totally different this wipe and i did actually find a bloodstalker basically off a of spawn the only problem there was loads of pv around it and there was allosaurs and that that were probably going to kill the bloodstalker let's hope we get a little bit lucky here oh i killed the stalker man 130 oh, stalker dead. I did also find another stalker, but this happened. Oh, he actually, he's level 95, man. How is he level 95? Yeah, I got slapped. Service crashed. Nice. Oh my oh, god. Dude. This start of the wipe was just not going well at all. Because I knew that Gen 2 just was not going to be coming up anytime soon. I just came over to the other Gen 2 and basically just started fresh. Now I'm going to farm loads of resources just to get going and not focus the Bloodstalker as much because they're probably all taken by now. So I've actually built a start base and it's probably the most scoffed base I've ever built in my whole entire life. Don't know why I just dropped my legs but I did. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little base tour now. Right, so you walk through the door. If I can even open the door with this lag. As you can tell, it's uh, very, very laggy currently. Uh, but you know what? I'll just give you a little K-mode. Because uh, I just got forges and a bed down. And you can't get into there uh, like this. As you may think you can. Oh, there we go. The door actually opened. Uh, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think I'm even going to get into my own base. So I'm just going to shut that door and just let the metal smelt. And I'll be back for that later. I'm going to actually go over the to extinction to craft canoes and uh, get level 100 hopefully the plan did change a little bit and i just went over to island as it was a lot easier than extinction i bet you can never guess what happened to the island server when i was literally one level off my level 100 it crashed nope just crashed this wipe just was not going well hopefully it will take a spin and we can get a bloodstalker back over on gen 2 you can just grab me yes come on please please Please, please, let's go. Right, we got a level. We got a level one, two, two stalker. I lost my character, which is not too great to be fair. There's another stalker. There's loads of stalkers. Right, I'm gonna actually put this one in upload so it's safe, and then I'm gonna go grab another couple hopefully, uh, so I have a good supply. I then went over to centre as I needed some flak and on my server you actually do get a little starter kit out of a white drop. It's nothing special, literally just prim flak and a prim crossbow, but it does go a long way. Finally got white drop, perfect. And now I can get things going even more. Besides the bloodstalker now I could kill loads of enforcers and get loads of electronics to start my base up. So that's what I've done over an extinction and I also was getting level 100 at the same time. Whilst I was over an extinction, I saw a duo trying to raid a rat hole and it looked like they were nearly in, so this could be a very good opportunity to try to counter the raid and get some loot. Oh my god. Come on, he's got C4. We've got a C4 and Daddy. Oh my god, they're raiding this. Have they just raided it? Did they just raid it? So confused. So as you can see in my hotbar, I literally do not have a weapon to fight with. So let's hope I don't get into any PvP. I don't have grapples to get out. I need to bring this stalker in with me. But I can't. There we go. They've just raided it. No way. And as you can probably tell, I'm playing very shaky. That's because I've got literally everything that I've farmed up for the past half an hour on me.
Let's go. Oh my god. There's a shotgun. Don't have any way to kill him. There we go. What? Oh my god. This is the best start like that I could have received. Literally, so much metal. To get going. So much. A uh, little bit of spark. Not much. Not much really, but still. A very decent counter. I must say so. I must see. Anything on him? Nothing. That was probably the best outcome of that situation I could have asked for. Anyway, now I had loads of loot to start up with. And we finally unlocked level 100 after that little bit of PvP. And I gained so much loot out of it. I think I've got like 2.5k electronics now. And a lot of metal to get going. I can probably get a metal cliff plat straight away. But I think I'm going to go for stone. And I'll show you the location that I want to claim in a minute. It's actually over an aberration. My thinking for this wipe is basically just stay as hidden as I possibly can and just raid everyone like that. So yeah, let's get over to the location and get going from there. What are these bags? Bloodstalker. I will take the meat and I'll take the hide. And I'll take the crystal because I don't think I actually uh, do I have crystal. So I came over to Aberration and straight away went over to my rat hole and to my surprise there was actually already someone in it, claimed it, just about to put turrets up so I thought in my head this was my only opportunity to try to get the rat hole off of him and make him quit basically. So let's hope it goes well. have a little fight like this bro i risked everything for that right then literally everything and hopefully it pays off i really wanted to claim this location does not look like that's happening now i want to keep two shells just in case I actually swiped that stone to cliff plat, but I didn't get anything, but my stalker got all the loot. And to be fair, that's quite a bit of loot. That's actually a nice amount of loot right there. Uh, stalker does have a bag. Oh no, that wasn't stalker, that was uh, the Denny. I could actually claim this, to be fair. No, I'm definitely going to claim this location. Let's go farm up the C4 now. So I stuck down a little hidden starter base in one of the aberration trees and I was just farming up some C4 obviously just to clear the cliff plat in the rat hole so I could claim it for myself. I'm just going to sit and swipe it because I'm not wasting another C4. I've already raced it about 15 I think. But I'm going to go back and get the metal cliff plat after I've swiped this a couple more times and get building in here because this location is pretty broken. And I got my smelted metal out of my forges and had enough for my metal cliff plat. So now I was looking pretty good and I could move into the rat hole. 
So this rat hole is extremely weird and basically what you have to do, you have to place a cliff plat down and snap foundations off of the cliff plat and that's how you get your foundation support. However, I'm just going to leave the cliff plat in here right now and build on top of that. So I gave Crystal Isles a little scout before I came off because I was going to come off quite early tonight because I had football in the morning. But that's besides the point. Let's try to raid this rat hole and see if I can actually get in. I'm going to try to raid this. It's going to be... Mm. It's online, so might be slightly difficult. I need to try to somehow kill him. Alright, there's two of them. I didn't really have any patience because it was like 2 in the morning and I really wanted to come off, so I just yoloed it. Yikes, I, I've totally flopped that. I, I <laughs> oh, that's not good. That stalker's gone. I probably shouldn't have done that at like 2 in the morning because I'm tired, but no excuses in it. So I was supposed to come off like an hour ago because I've got football in about 6 hours. But yeah, we made some progress. We've got two heavies at the moment and I'm actually going to log off with two heavies. This rat hole's quite strong, so I'm hoping it won't get raided. But you never know, they've both got 100 bullets in basically. Uh, we haven't made too much progress, we haven't even got an indie forge yet, which is uh, not too great to say at least. But we can't really do nothing about that because I don't have a lot of time today. Uh, we've got all these forges smelting, so they're going to be smelting overnight. Hopefully we have a lot of metal in the morning. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got to say really. I've also got loads of gunpowder making up. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, it's uh, been alright. All this progress was really replaceable, so even if I did get raided overnight, I'd be able to build back up very, very easy. So I woke up to this message on my Discord. Obviously, I had to go to football before I could even log on, but what's actually funny about this, this is the guy that I used to play MTS with back in the day, and he's actually quite a chill dude, so it don't even matter. Oh, GG's, I can build back up straight away. Ah, uh, and I got raided. <laughs> right, that's what happens when you go off like eight hours in day one to sleep. I haven't even went football yet. I just came on before. Ah, uh, that is a fat rip. Right, I'm gonna go get grab a stalker and then I'm gonna restart when I get back. I feel like that's probably gonna be the best thing to do. So I had the little plan, before I went off for a couple of hours, I decided to farm up loads of metal and wood and basically just put some hidden forges somewhere, so when I came back on I would have loads of smelted metal. Oh yeah, and I also got another stalker because all my stalkers had died. Level 50, that's alright. Not too bad. I'm just to use this to get around now. So I just loaded in after football and my little secret stash of forges have not been found each one of these have got 897 metal in so yeah i've gonna i'm gonna have a lot of metal to do stuff with uh this is gonna help so so much i think we'll have about eight metal, which i'm gonna just stick and upload because that's the best thing to do right now and then i'm gonna build my rat hole once again the guy who actually uh raided it messaged me and i used to play mts with him back in the day uh so yeah that's kind of cool well not cool but so i just went over to crystal wales and got loads of resources that i would need to build back up so i got silica pearls i got some black pearls and i also got some oil i need to go over to extinction again to get even more electronics because i don't have literally any of them i'm gonna actually craft a smithy here and get loads of cp crafting because it's only stone on my server which is very very nice I also grabbed some poly before moving back into my rat hole as I would need that for turrets and more stuff like that. So I just farmed up a bunch of resources, it really didn't take me long. I'm going to actually build in the same spot that I got raided out of. You're probably thinking why would I do that. It's a very good location and I had about 100 bullets in each turret so I think we know why I got raided. Uh, anyway, I need to cross some bullets because I can't really leave a... Uh my base without any bullets in so i went over to ragnar rock to get some stone and flint because i didn't have my school shaft dlc installed because i had to reinstall my game oh my I've god been doing it. oh my god Sorry. i just hit the naughtiest oh. little road 
I did, I'll just die wolf just killed him. No, no, I just hit the naughtiest pick on my stalker. Oh. Oh, he got PVE. Yeah, yeah, he got <laughs> he got PVE to death. Oh, I don't know where he died. He died here. Oh, he literally had nothing. Crossbow, and that's it. He got PVE. <laughs> oh, that's a rip. So I basically built up the base to where it was and probably better. It had many more bullets to turrets and there was more turrets in the fabricator that I was about to place down. So sadly that is going to be the end of the first video of this solo series. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't made this far please put a G91 in the comments and know I've made this far which honestly means more than anything. Anyway have a amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next one.